morning, guys. Good morning. All right. Well, I'm so glad that you guys are here. Um, oh, come on, Dutton. Yeah. Come on, Peyton. We got enough room here. Yeah, right there. Sometimes it's good not to be right next to our brother, right? <laughs> there we go. No, I'm so glad that you guys are here. Um, raise your hand if uh, your grandparents took you here this morning. Yeah? How about our parents? Parents brought you? Yeah? Yeah? Who brought themselves here? Who drove? You did? <laughs> Pastor Greg did? <laughs> no, I, I just, I just want to take a moment and, and, and uh, praise God that that he has given you guys parents, grandparents, maybe a relative that brought you here that made sure that they know that it's important for you guys to have a relationship with Jesus, to be in God's house. And they, they want to be intentional in that, and they want to bring you guys here to church. Okay, so let's praise God for that. Can we get an amen? Amen. amen. Um, this morning, I want to talk to, a, a talk to you guys about a story uh, in in the Gospels, that's one of my favorite stories, and it's it's a call. It's the reason why we have children's message. This is why you guys come forward here, and that's found in Mark chapter ten, and it says Jesus blesses the little children. Okay, they were bringing children to him so that the, he would touch them, but the disciples they rebuked him. But when Jesus saw this, he was indignant, and he said to them, Allow the children to come to me. Do not forbid them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Truly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it at all. He took them in his arms, and he began to bless them, laying his hands on them. Okay, so the... Parents, just like here today, the parents in Jesus' time, they recognize, you can come here, bro. You want to come? Mel's right here. You just stand over there <laughs> if you really like it. All right, so in Jesus' time, the parents, they recognize the same truth that we as parents and grandparents believe is that you guys need to have a relationship with Jesus. We want Jesus to bless you. You guys. So what they would do is when they saw Jesus was in the town, they would bring the children up to there so that he could bless them, that he could lay his hands over them. Okay? And so the but the disciples, but the yeah, oh, we're getting closer. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. But the disciples, they they didn't want they didn't want the kids to come up there. Why do you guys think that? Why didn't the disciples want kids to be there? There we go. Why do you guys think that? Why do you think that the disciples didn't want kids there? What do you guys think? You guys are pretty great, right? Yeah? Why wouldn't they want you up there? Do you think they may think that there's more important things? Yeah? They may think they there has to be some grown... Jesus has to do some grown-up stuff. He can't... He can't spend time with little kids. Do you think that's what the disciples were thinking? Yeah. But is that how Jesus was thinking? What did he do? Do you remember what he said? Yeah, he told told them, don't stop them from coming out over here. Because the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Such as you guys. The kingdom of God belongs to you guys. And one of the things... So it's important for us to realize that Jesus values every one of us here so whether we're as little as jack over here and then as tall well bert's not here but bert's pretty tall right so it doesn't matter how little you are how big you are how young you are how old you are jesus loves you guys jesus wants you guys not only to be here in church but he wants you to come forward he wants you guys to sit on his lap he wants you guys to be blessed by him, okay? So I have a question for you guys. Who, what's the highest number that you've ever counted to in your life? What's your highest number that you counted to? Has anybody counted to 100 before? Three? That's pretty high, too. Yeah? You guys, could you count higher than that? 
Yeah? Okay, so have you guys, do you guys know in Scripture that Jesus says that you're, the very hairs on your head, they're numbered? That he knows them. Like he knows the number that's on your head. See, for some people it's a little easier to know the number than others. Okay? But it, what an amazing fact that Jesus knows you guys so well that he knows the total number of hairs on your head. Now, is that awesome? Yeah? Again, Jesus knows and he, he values you guys. He knows that you guys are important. So, so remember that. No matter how little we are, no matter how young you are, Jesus loves you, cares for you, and wants you to be with him. Okay? So let's go to God in prayer. Thank him for that. And remember that everybody, everybody um, is, is important to Jesus. Okay? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, um, for this wonderful fact that you, you've created the heavens. You've created the, the, the splendor that we've seen around us. Those that have been around mountains, to see the majesty, uh, to be on those peaks. To, to look and see um, a wonderful... Um, starry night sky and and how the the stars and then the the planets that they move in orbit um, at your call that you've created these wonderful things Lord and that you've even considered us as Psalm 8 um, that it, it it marvels that you what is mankind that you're mindful of us the son of man that you care for us and that not only people that we think are important Lord but you know that even children children you have taken under their wings, that they are in the hollow of your hands. We thank you for this wonderful, glorious um, fact. Lord, we, we pray that you um, help us to, to continue to bring the children to you, Lord, so that you bless them. And just as in baptism that we've seen with Jerry Lynn, Lord, that you, that you protect them, that you cover them, um, that, you, that you want the best for them so that when they go through life that they know that they can trust and follow in you. We pray this, Lord, in your son's precious name and all God's kids say, amen. 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 All right, good job, guys. You may go back to your seats. Amen. 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 Ooh.